everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the 32nd episode of my Terraria Calamity playthrough, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me and indeed once again for the support you showed in the last episode and indeed for the series in general. It is super appreciated. Now guys, we're pretty much going to pick up where we left off in that we are attempting to take down the plague bringer Goliath with the abomination here. So, I've got myself some more buff potions. I've got magic ones as well, just in case I wanted to give that a quick go. So... I'm going to buff up, I'm going to do this, we're going to get ourselves some of these bad boys, and uh, yeah, once again, I'm just going to go and see what we can do. So uh, yeah, this is this gal is pretty much like a hard mode queen bee, as far as I can tell. It is pretty much like a hard mode queen bee, that's, that's the best comparison I can really draw. Hello, hi, come on. So yeah, I'm going to continue using the astral blaster because I feel like it's the best way to do things in terms of having, you know, homing projectiles, which is pretty nice. 67,000 health. Man, she's going all over the place at the moment. Hello. Come on, then. She's up there now. I'm using the mini-map to try and locate and, uh, you know, adjust my trajectory to the point where I can still hit her, even though she's moving around like a, like a moron. And health. There we go. Come on. What about... Should we just give it a go? I have no idea what to really expect with this thing, but... Okay. Not bad. It's not bad. It's just, you know, she moves about so much. It's actually kind of crazy. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there's a random queen bee! <laughs> she spawns little queen bee cronies. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, queen bee, what is even the point, bro? <laughs> what the hell? That's awesome, man. Oh, what the hell? I love this fight already, man. I love this fight already. Right. <laughs> Hi, right, Queen Bee, what is even the point? Right. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is, she did a fair amount of damage. Oh, hi. Queen Bee's got about 350 health left. Uh, you might as well just go down now. You might as well just go down now. Go on, go on, go on, Queen Bee. Oh, get, oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I hit her, I hit her directly. I'm going to die. Uh, we've got about three seconds until regen. Is there even a slight chance? I don't actually know at this point. Wait, where, where is, where is she? Blade Bringer? Plague bringer! Oh, plaguey! She despawned! She despawned the little scumbag! How can you do that? Oh, how can you live with yourself knowing that you're a, you're a scumbag combat logger? Yeah, freaking butt. I can't believe that. That's unbelievable. You, I'm going to take out my frustration on you, Mr. Werewolf. Oh, what the hell was that though, man? Huh. Okay, right. I think I've got a rough idea on what I want to do at this point. I think I want to go ahead and flatten out the land a bit. I think that would be a good idea, right? So, yeah, we're going to go and do that. We're going to flatten out the land. Uh, okay. Random Queen Bee! Uh, wh where did you even come from, bro? I don't get it, man. No, seriously, I don't get it. Where the hell did she even spawn from? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why? Just a random queen bee. Just out of nowhere, bro. Oh, plague cell canisters. Thank you. I didn't even realize those guys could spawn at the surface. I'm pretty happy with that. Hey, man. That's pretty awesome. Hey, buddy. Get wrecked. Fantastic. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, I want to try and uh, flatten this place out a bit because I feel like the uh, the terrain is going against us at this point. Uh, you know, maybe it's because this is dirt and not like jungle grass. Maybe me going even a slight bit further away is, you know, not really helping the cause, I guess. So, yeah. And like I was saying, I'm just going to go in and uh, smooth out the land over this side, perhaps. We'll see what we can do. Uh, sir, sir, please, please, why? Why are you even, why are you even trying? Get out of it. <laughs> Idiot. Alright guys, so I think we're just about ready to give this thing a go again. And one thing I completely forgot was the, uh, the the whole summoner buff thing. In that, I can have this, and I do believe a few of these as well. Yeah, look, I've got the Song God stuff and three... Oh, four! Wow, I've got four deadly spheres as well? Wow! Okay! That's pretty badass! <laughs> Sweet. So as you can see, I've smoothed out the land very nicely. And uh, yeah, as a result, everything should be good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. <laughs> Raining out of the sky like a moron. All right. Buffing up. Boom. Plague bringer Goliath. Let's go again, boys. Come on. Let's see what we can do here. I'm hoping to take a damn. Obviously, I mean, that's the whole point of doing boss fights, right? You need to take them down. Right. So as long as I don't touch the plague bringer Goliath, I should be okay, right? Right. I hope so, anyway. Oh, don't get hit by it. Holy crap. 
for goodness sake, Python, be careful. Look at all times at the map so I can see where she is. All right, she's doing a whole dashing thing now. Here she goes. There we go. All right, hey, buddy. Come on, Em. 64,000 health. 61,000 health. Okay, we're definitely getting further than we have done before. I don't know whether it's the arena or my ability to just dodge. Hello. Hi. Get wrecked. Alright, and there she goes. There's a random queen bee about to come in. In fact, they, she has come in. Okay, come on then. I'm ready, I'm ready. So, do you have to defeat the queen bee before you can do damage to, to the plague bringer again? I have no idea. Anyways, let's keep going. We're doing well. We're honestly doing very, very well. I'm actually very, very happy with the progress we're making so far. Come on, 50,000 health. 49. Come on. She just seems to be going around in circles at the moment. <laughs> like an idiot. What are you doing? Come on! 46, 45, 44! Come on! Oh! Careful! Careful, Python. That was a hit. And we do have to be careful. Because if we're not careful, we're just going to die. Quite a lot. Okay. Maybe she's just like Queen Bee in that the lower her health is, the more she's going to, like, dash really quickly into you. I'm kind of... Yeah, she's definitely dashing quicker. Plague Nuke Barrage Armed? What? Do I want to know? That sounds pretty bad, man. I don't want to get on the wrong side of that. You know what I'm saying? Targeting routine initiated. I don't like the sound of that, man. Oh! Okay. Sweet! We avoided it! Yay! Okay, so it's basically like it rains down hell upon you, basically. Not bad, not bad. 25,000 health is the amount the Plague Bringer has now. Oh, that was kind of close. Okay, there's a bunch of plague cell dude things. Come on. I'm actually a big fan of this weapon. I really, really am. It may only shoot out one projectile at once, but it's very, very powerful. And it homes in on enemies. It's very good. I highly advise, if you guys are playing this mod along with me, I highly advise you make this thing. It's very, very good. 15,000 health. I have no idea if she has, like, any, like, special expert mode attacks. That is, I'm kind of scared of that, potentially. But in the meantime... Oh, hello. Not doing bad. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, she's right on me. There we go. 11,000 health. Guys, I think we may have this. I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but I think we may have this. 8,000, 7,000 health. Come on, boys. Let's go. Oh, that was actually kind of close. You saw that. It's actually kind of close. It's uh, 5,000 health. Come on. Let's keep it going. Uh, okay, we've got to be careful. Oh! Okay, she didn't get me. She didn't get me. Okay. Oh, I avoided it. I was in the middle of it, but I avoided it. That's pretty cool. 2,000 health. 2,000. 1,000 health. Oh, come on then, Plague Cell. You're done. You're done, Plague Bringer. Plague Bringer, the plague is gone. Yeah, screw you, man. Get off me. Oh! No! Isn't that... Wait, hang on a minute. Isn't that like a rare drop? Yeah, it goes towards the heart of the elements. That's awesome. Okay, so out of the stuff we have for this currently, we have ourselves the Pearl of Enthrallment, the Arrow Stone, and now the Bloom Stone, which means we have six more things to try and get. The Waifu, the Rare Waifu, the Eye of the Storm, the Rose Stone, Cryo Stone, Chaos Stone, and yeah, that's just about it. Alright, so, let's head back home, guys. We've actually taken it down, which is pretty awesome. After this, we've got Duke Fish Run. I imagine Duke Fish Run is just going to be an absolute cakewalk with the weapons we now have. So, uh, yeah, be pretty cool. But, guys, we finally took him down. We took him down. I'm feeling pretty good about it. What was it, our third try? I think it was our third try, anyway. Right, we're going to quick stack the uh, Queen Bee bag right there. And uh, we're going to put the buff potions away real quick. Uh, bottled honey. I've got loads of that already. We just don't need it. Let oh, my goodness me. Hey, we got a dev set out of it as well. Oh, man, I love Arcalis' stuff. Oh, I love Arcalis' blooming. Oh, man, I've got to put this on. Yeah, look at me, man. I look like some sort of... I look like some sort of monster from Doctor Who. I look amazing. Seriously, the cape and the, uh, the... You know, the vanity combination goes really, really well. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting it to go that well, but it really does. <laughs> Sweet. Right, uh, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of... Yeah, you know, chuck that away. Why not? Uh, what else have we got? Let's have a look. So, the Toxic Heart. Equipable is a material blinds and weakens the player. Wait, blinds and weakens the player if above 85% life? I don't want that. That sounds really bad. Summons a damaging plague aura around the player to destroy nearby enemies. 
Okay. We've got the Demonic Blight Spewer, the Hive, and the Ruthless Pandemic. Fires Plague Seekers when enemies are near. Ooh. That sounds pretty cool, man. And we've got ourselves a bunch of Plague Cell Canisters from that as well. Man, that's pretty awesome. Wait, did we get a whole bunch of money from that as well? That's pretty badass if so. Wow. Okay. Uh, right. Vanity, uh, you can go in there. Oh, wow. The pandemic. 168 melee damage. That's crazy. I feel like I should give this thing a go against uh, an enemy. We've got two ranged weapons here as well. Let's have a look. What the hell? And I can't even shoot that one. Huh. What does this thing require then? Rockets? Hmm. I'm going to have to have a look real quick. Uh, let's get some rockets. Let's get one rocket. And is that going to be the thing it needs? Oh, it is. I don't get it. Did it not do anything? I don't think it did anything. The Blight Spewer is kind of badass, though. And so is this thing. Like I say, I want to give the Pandemic a go for sure. I'm not entirely sure about the Toxic Heart. What can that make? The Plague Hive. We need an alchemical flask and then these two, which I believe I already have. How does one make an alchemical flask? That's actually really easy. Holy crap. Okay. We just need to get a bazaar out. Okay. Bazaar. What else was it? Uh, plague cell canisters and a water bottle. Let's grab out a water bottle. We can actually do that right now. Right? Where's the... Oh, I, I, I put away the plague cell canisters. Of course I did. I am being a big doofus, my friends. I apologize. All right, there we go. Let's get this bad boy. Thank you very much. Right, and remind me, we need ourselves the hive pack and also the honeycomb, both of which I'm pretty sure I already have. And if not, then I'll be able to get them pretty easy. No, I do have them both. Okay, brilliant. And it's made at... Oh, are you kidding? Made as an ancient manipulator. Oh, that sucks a bunch of butts, man. It would be nice if I was able to make that. Man, I may have to make some... I may have to start putting some accessories up in here or something. We have so many of them. It's actually kind of crazy. But yeah, as soon as it comes to it, we will be able to make ourselves some pretty cool accessories. Awesome. Right, I'm going to pull away the hive, and then we are going to give the blight spewer and the ruthless pandemic both a go. I think we're just going to, like, pitch them against... Uh, a mech boss or something just so we can get ourselves some more materials while we're at it talking of that It's actually just become nighttime too. <laughs> Hello, right? Uh, why don't you go ahead and give me a couple of destroyer summoners? There we go All right, we'll give this thing a go against the destroyer my friends We're gonna head over here and we're just gonna do it basically. All right, boom. Let us see what this thing can do oh, I'm not entirely sure a hundred thousand health Okay, this thing does do a decent amount of damage, which is pretty nice. I'm not entirely sure, though. Okay, okay, yeah, it's doing a, it's doing a good amount of damage. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, no, okay, no. Well, then again, that could be all of my summoning dudes doing the, da doing the damage, sorry. Perfectly possible, but I don't know. I still feel like this is a pretty cool weapon. <laughs> nice one. 326 crit damage. That's pretty cool. Hey, man. Come on. You got a third health left. You're gonna die. You might as well give up, brother. Come on, then. Come on, then. 20,000 health. 15, 14, 13. It's going down faster than I can count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dead. Hey. Not bad. Not bad, my friends. Not bad. Right. Let's put on the ranger emblem now. Let's see what kind of damage this thing does. 163. Wow. That's a hell of a lot, isn't it? So what does it require? Oh, okay, so it uses gel. All right, well, once again, we're gonna give it a go. Boom! All right. Uh, that is 21,000 damage per second. And that's pretty much the destroyer now dead. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? This <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell, bro? This weapon is insane. The only thing is, it absolutely hemorrhages your gel supply. Holy crap. That's craziness. How much do, do we have aside from this? Oh, well, we got over a stack still. Huh. Wow. Right, I'm going to refill this. There we go. So, actually, we have over two stacks of uh, freaking stuff. Wow. Dude, that's crazy, dude. Can't believe that. That's ridiculous. 
Oh man, oh man, oh man. Right, what is the next boss? Duke Fishman. I do believe I've already got a summoner for him as well. We could maybe take him down. Yeah, I do. I do already have a summoner. Right, do we have a fishing rod or something? Uh, fishing rod? You know, I could have sworn I had a fishing rod somewhere. Huh, maybe I'm just blind. Huh, perfectly possible. Right, anyways, uh, can I make like a gold fishing rod out of this? Gold fishing rod? I don't think I can, as far as I know. No, okay. Sweet. Right, I'm going to make myself like the Fisher of Souls or something. And then we're going to head over to the ocean and just try to take Duke Fish on out. Like, first time, hopefully. Oh, uh, what? Where did this come from? It was just laid on the ground there. Legit, I don't know where that came from. I may have to look back in editing and see where I got that. Huh, okay. Oh, Jesus! It goes towards the Auric Tesla helm. It requires 12 different materials. Are you kidding? Holy god damn, man. Psychotic amulet. What does it actually do by itself? Boosts melee and range damage and critical strike chance by 5%. Grants a massive boost to these stats if you aren't moving. Wow. That's pretty cool. Huh. Alright, I'm going to put it away for now. Because I don't really need it right at this second. Corrupt slime banner. Huh. I, I legit... I don't know where it came from. Sorry, I'm holding in hiccups right now. Quite badly. <laughs> oh, man. Right, anyways, uh, like I say, I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare myself for Duke Fishron. And I will be back with you guys momentarily. Alright, Duke Botron. Your time has come to get destroyed. Come on, then. Get fished up. There you go. Jig fish one is among us. Alright, this should be an absolute cakewalk by every stretch of the imagination. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I feel like this guy should be earlier in terms of progression on the boss checklist. Look at this. Look at the damage that we are doing right now. A thousand damage per second. It's a good amount. It's a good amount, my friends. Although I'm almost tempted to try this thing out as well. See what it does. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, that's a good amount of damage, isn't it? Right, let's see what this one can do. Uh, pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> but then again, I really do think the Astral Blaster is going to be the way to go, my friends. Oh, there we go. He's in second stage. Let's just keep up the mini-map so we can see where he is at all times. And then we'll be okay, pretty much. 22, 21,000, 20,000. Uh, yeah, this guy is just going to get wrecked straight away. Honestly, I don't even think third stage will be any issue, to be honest with you guys. Come on, then. Come on, man. When he gets to 10k, that's when he gets in two second stage or third stage. Is he going third stage now? Yep, there he goes. All right, now he's going to TP like a freaking moron idiot. Oh, God. Let's just be careful because, you know, he, he still could take his damn attention. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Holy Christ. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a Duke Fish one trophy as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright, let's open it up. What do we get? We got ourselves a Duke Fish from Mask and some other stuff as well. Which, to be honest, is probably not... Oh, it's a material. Oh, what the hell? It's a material for the SDFMG. We need an SDMG from the Moon Lord, the Shrimpy Truffle, the Cosmolite Bars, and some Phantoplasm. Oh, wow. Okay, that's going in my uh, material weapons chest, in which case. Alright, boom. You can go in there. Uh, this thing is not a material, but uh, we could potentially put it on. I mean, it's got quite a lot of damage, right? Alright, Deadly Spheres, I think your time has come to be retired and replaced, buddy. Alright, you can go in there. Let's get ourselves a bunch of these freaking shark dudes. I love the shark dudes, man! They're freaking awesome, bro! And the Flesh Catcher can also go away as well. There's not really anything you get from Duke Fish Run in Calamity as far as I know. So, I'm going to go and chuck you away. And honestly, I think that's just about it for this episode, my friends. We've uh, we've pretty much pwned a whole bunch of bosses, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. So, guys, if you did enjoy this episode with all the boss pwning, do be sure to drop a like rating. It'll be super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you do not want to miss out on my future content, my friends. And, of course, as always, I will see you guys in the next episode.